What I want you to know about me is that I am beautiful. Okay. <laughs> but I used to be a lost woman. Mm -hmm. Fell in love with men full of lechery so solid you could build a table on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and for years I've chose the man to suit the instant. And when each one left me for dead, well, the blues would camp out inside of me for weeks at a time. So I learned to drink and drug and forget the ones who filled my soul with hollow invitations. My story's one of being alone, even among friends and lovers. I want to tell you about the morning my life changed. I wake up in an alley, a world surrounded by brick. Through a window across the way, a man's face pops up, as if to Study my stalled sexuality. His stay is brief. Then another face. The men are pushing and shoving for the slightest sight of me. I said I would never be like those women. Free return tricks for a quarter gram of coke, and here I am. Well, I wasn't bought or sold into street life. I was birthed into it. Abused by my uncle when I was in the third grade. Afraid to tell my mother. Yeah. My fate was written on the day I was born. Those men in the window, though. I'm theirs for the taking and leaving. For years, I offered strangers moments of pleasure. I guess you could say I'm in the business of pleasure. That's an irony. The numerous scars littering my body never saw one ounce of pleasure. In those dark red years of hopeless fate, my defiant soul was my only escape. Life on the street cost a lot. The fat cat businessmen, they hurry on their way to work. Hurry advises us if, if we were unsavory canceling any history of the night before. Looking up at those men in the window, I cry out, please, send help. And it came. My five-year prison sentence finally shut the door to my body and gave me years to reflect and pray. Let me cease to fear the embrace that longs to steal me. It was there I learned that healing could be as deep as the wound that bound me. Eventually, I became a loose petal poppy, blown open, <laughs> a girl again. Finally, for the first time, hearing the earth's heartbeat, I was released early with a knowing that I wasn't going to yield to any random voice or scream to let me in. My family, my sweet family, well, they forgave me. I forgave them for being what I was not. Blessed are those who remember what they have now, they long for. Today, all I can say is gravy, <laughs> for that's what my life is. Three years clean and sober, working a meaningful job, Surrounded by a loving family when nobody even thought I'd be alive this long. <laughs> Pure gravy, I tell you. <laughs>